and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 15th of May. The local media headlines today. We should find out more this week what the plotters and conspirators are up to at County Hall with their plans to depose the leader of Cornwall Council. It happens round about this time every year, but this year could be different because of the unresolved tensions at County Hall over a mayor. It's all about tactics and numbers and who might suddenly discover an urgent appointment that keeps them away from a full council meeting next week. One of the problems with building a new town with thousands of new houses is that sooner or later you have to decide how you're going to deal with all that extra sewage. It's a question which planners have to deal with this week. Planners are also going to have to decide whether Lost Withiel's golf course in an area of great landscape value should become a holiday resort. There's concern in Helston over the future of the town's country market. Did you go to the Eurovision Song Contest party at Newquay Spaceport on Saturday? Spot any rockets? And glad tidings for fans of BBC Radio Cornwall, whose frontline presenters look set to escape the latest round of job cuts. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and wants to know why Cornwall Council didn't bid for government money that would help leisure centres put solar panels on their roofs. There had been £365 million available to help leisure centres cut their energy bills, but it looks like County Hall hasn't asked for any of it. The BBC is urging people to report dolphin sightings. Pirate FM reported how families in Plymouth are criticising the government for its slow response to the need for tighter gun controls. The Falmouth Packet reminded readers about the rules around dogs on beaches. And finally, Cornwall Live had a list of stereotypes which it thinks give a false impression. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.